In Milledgeville, a 20-year-old clock tower came down for good. The tower was damaged and Baldwin County opted not to foot the bill for repairs. Avery Braxton tells us more. You won't see the clock strike six in Milledgeville anymore, at least not on top of the Baldwin County Courthouse. Well, when I went into the tower to find out why the clock wasn't working, I was soaked all the water seeping through the tower. County manager Carlos Tobar says the beams inside the tower were damaged and that the cost to fix the tower and have it running again would cost a pretty penny. The architect said that it would cost a quarter of a million dollars to bring it down, reclad it and put it back up. And he said that it was designed this way and we would be facing this bill every 15 years. So the commissioners decided that they didn't want future taxpayers to pay this bill. All told, bringing the tower down and storing it cost around $159,000. A little digging in the Georgia College archives shows the clock tower going up in 1997 and originally costing $150,000. Philip Lord was walking by as the tower came down and said it was sad to see a beautiful portion of downtown removed. I, I think the concept is it could be spent in better ways. Just have to hope what, you know, what those, the better ways have something to do with, with beautifying our community too. The tower is tabbed for storage, but local state prison farm historian and shop owner Edwin Atkins has at least one idea for it. We could have the cornerstone, we could have the dates, we could have the Georgia history bronze sign on it. And that would be a very inexpensive way to have a very nice memorial at the site of the prison. A possible last watch for a watchtower. In Milledgeville, Avery Braxton, 13 WMAZ News. County Commission also approved renovations to the outside of the courthouse, cleaning and repairs to the roof where the clock tower sat. Uh, the contract costs about $359,000 collectively, and that's according to Tobar.